Hey y'all, welcome back. Turtle Man. Got me a haircut. Um, little update, I went and looked at that bobcat yesterday. It wasn't worth filming. Um, the poor lady accidentally run the hydraulic system dry and it ate both the hydraulic pumps. Uh, there's a, it's got two pumps on it. It's got a hydrostat pump and then a regular pump. Uh, the hydrostat pump runs the um, the drive system, both drive motors for each side, and then the the other hydraulic pump runs the bucket. So from what I've been told, the hydrostat pump has a set of brass clutches in it, from what I understand. And they said when those go bad because the system has been run dry, that it spreads bronze or whatever it is through the entire hydraulic system so it's basically done uh the pumps are not even available so we got to do something else uh even if the pumps were available we're looking at like seven to eight thousand dollars for two pumps and then i gotta either rebuild or replace the entire hydraulic system every cylinder's got to be pulled apart cleaned out repacked all the hoses, all the lines, got to pull the tank out, flush it. It, it, it's not worth it. So we're going to look for her another machine that's real close to what she's got, another 743, another 743B, something like that. Something needs an engine and swap all of her good stuff. It's got a brand new set of tires. The engine I just put in it, I've been through all the wiring. It's got a new seat, gauges. Uh, a real nice bucket on it. So if we could find an older 743, uh, we could swap all of her good stuff on it. Or may just have to find her another machine altogether. But the parts are not available. The machine's kind of done. I uh, got some more work done on the mower. I got it all spread out. Um, got parts ordered. The oil in it was just full of fuel. I'm fitting to take this shit off. I, I this is I cannot stand these. Whoever invented these scotch locks should be shot. That is the worst connector out there. If you use these, come on over. I'll give you slap myself. Th these I, I can't stand these. Dude put it right at the ignition switch, and now the wire right at the ignition switch. It's corroded. I'm going to have to back pin it, pull it out, pull the connector off, and replace the chunk of wire. And then, you know, whatever this is. This is going in the trash. I don't even care if it works. Um, I got carburetor gaskets coming. The, the fuel that keeps dripping out of it is cloudy. I'm going to have to pull the tank. I drain the tank, put some fresh in it, and it, it it's cloudy looking. I don't know, it's nasty. It smells like hell. Um, the, the, if you ever find a mower with a Courage Kohler in it, don't get it. Here's the air box that bolts to the carburetor. And the only place that it breathes, this, this hole doesn't go anywhere. This is the only hole it breathes through. And as you can see, I can cover it up with my thumb. You cannot see through this box. Where the carburetor bolts on, you cannot see the air inlet. I don't know how how it breathes. I don't know how it makes 26 claimed horsepower off of this hole. On top of that, the carburetor is not a Nikki or a Walbro. It's a whatever that is. That's a $400 carburetor. I ain't never heard of it. So I did not buy a carburetor. I bought a carb kit, which is all the gaskets, and it was still over $100. So I got a float, a needle, and a seat. It comes with a main jet. I don't know why. Um, the bowl gasket, this top gasket, uh, the two gaskets that go on either side. Um, they don't come with the solenoid. Of course, I got the solenoid working. Um, but I did go get some parts from my local store. Um... They wanted $160 for the factory fuel pump, so this is an Oregon. Um, it should work. Oregon makes pretty good stuff. Spark plugs, 
oil filter that is a Kohler oil filter. Um, a Kohler fuel filter. I got a bunch of 5 16 line, no quarter line, because I'm going to run a fresh piece from the tank all the way up to the pump and then to the carburetor because that stuff is old. Um, air filter, pre filter, um, carb kits on order. What else did I get? Oh, I got a new gas cap. Um, this little piece in the gas cap is broke and I found it in the gas tank. Not cool. So, and I guess somebody punched some extra holes in it. I don't know. It's crap. It's getting thrown away. Got a new one. Um, I may just have to pull the tank out of it. Anyway. There's a little update on the mower. I want I want to this I got it to run, but not really. Uh, I want to make sure this thing runs good before I go too far on it. If if I lose a couple hundred bucks in parts making it run good, and the rest of the mower's crap, then maybe I could sell the engine for some money. But I want to hear the thing run run good before I do anything else to the mower. I'm not spending money on tires and stuff before I get too far. Uh, at least the gas dripping cleans off my working carpet a little bit. Um, so there's a little update on the mower. Ain't done nothing else to the cylinder head. Been out running errands this morning. Um, so yeah, it's a little cooler today. We've got a slight breeze coming through that feels real nice. Uh, got rain in the forecast. We've got some clouds moving in. Uh, with the sun not beating on you, it's much better because... Oh, it's been nasty. It's still 88 degrees right now. And uh, it's thick enough out here you could cut it with a butter knife. But it is what it is. Maybe them clouds will bring us a little shower and uh, it'll feel better out here. So anyway, I'm going to get to work on this mower. I won't be able to get it running today because I ain't got no carburetor parts. But I can get a bunch of stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and get the deck out from under it and out of the way. Kind of assess it, what all it needs. Uh, I know the tires are just dry rotted, and I'm not putting I'm not putting those kind of tread back on it. I can't stand a turf tire. I don't mow. They're they're great for asphalt, but you you don't mow asphalt in any kind of grass with a hill. I have never had luck with them things giving me any kind of traction. They're just turf tires are terrible. If if I if I end up spinning. I'd rather go up the hill than back down the hill. So if I end up tearing the grass up, well, it's safer for me to go up the hill than slide down it with a set of tires that has no traction. It is what it is. Uh, anyway, I'm going to sweat and do a little work. And uh, we will uh, catch y'all later when I get some more parts in. Uh, as for now, I'm going to enjoy this breeze for a little bit. And uh, maybe we'll get a little rain. Once it quits raining, uh, i got a bush hog job down the road. We can get some video of that. And, uh, yeah, feels nice out here. But uh, we'll shout at y'all later. Deuces.